welcome to Variant One Shot. As you all know, I like to do history of episodes when a particular character appears in a movie or TV series. And normally I would have done a history of episode this past Wednesday on Iron Fist, but to be 100% honest, I completely forgot the release date for his Netflix series was this week, and I already had a Wednesday episode scheduled and ready to go. But we here at Variant never shrink from our responsibilities, so we decided to do a one shot on Iron Fist's origin instead. Basically, it's just going to be a condensed history of episode. I'm going to give you his comic book origin, powers and abilities, and even some reading recommendations since a lot of you always tell me that's one of your favorite parts of history of episodes. So let's get this thing going, shall we? Iron Fist first appeared in Marvel Premiere issue 15 in May of 1974 and was created by writer Roy Thomas and artist Gil Kane. His real name is Danny Rand and he's believed to be the 66th Iron Fist. That's right, there have been a crap ton of people to carry the Iron Fist mantle before him. As for his origin, it all started with Danny's father, Wendell Rand. As a kid, he found a mystical city called Kunlun, where he ended up saving the city's ruler, UT. This led to UT adopting him. And over time, Wendell eventually left the city and became Mr. Moneybags in the United States. Mr. Moneybags isn't like an alter ego, it literally just means he has a lot of money. Anyway, years later, Wendell was all like, I want to go back to the city of Kunlun. So he formed an expedition, taking his business partner, wife, and nine-year-old son, Daniel, with him. Now, if you're thinking that a Mount Everest type expedition to look for a mystical city with your wife, kid, and partner is the perfect setup for something to go wrong, you'd be 100% correct. While climbing up a snowy mountain, Daniel slips, and with his rope being tied to his parents, he causes them to fall too. The rope snapped, causing Danny and his mother to roll down the mountainside, but luckily they survived. However, his father wasn't so lucky, as he was still dangling from a natural bridge where his partner Meacham was holding on to him. But Meacham is in love with Wendell's wife Heather, so he kicks Wendell with his spiked ice boot and Wendell falls to his death. Meacham then rushes to help Heather and Danny, but having seen him kill Wendell, they're like, nope, all set. Later, Heather sacrifices herself to a pack of wolves in order to save her son, even though archers tried to save her but were unsuccessful. The archers then take Danny to UT, the green hooded ruler of Kunlun. UT tells Danny, if there is ever anything you want, merely name it and it will be yours. And in true comic book origin fashion, Danny replies with, there's only one thing I want, mister, I want revenge. So for the next few years, Danny is trained in the ways of martial arts by UT's apprentice, Lai Kung, and becomes his best student. Over time, Danny conditions his fists by punching them into buckets of sand, gravel, and rock in order to toughen them up. Kind of like this guy who kicks trees. <laughs> Seems legit. When Daniel was 19, he was given the opportunity to attain the power of Iron Fist by fighting and defeating the dragon Shao Lao, the Undying. The Dragon Lord was eternally condemned to guard the molten heart that had been torn from his body. Danny, being the quick thinker that he is, was all like, I bet Shao Lao gets life energy from his heart through that dragon-shaped scar on his chest. So Danny grabs Shao Lao and covers the dragon-shaped scar with his own body, then hangs on until Shao Lao dies. By doing this, the dragon tattoo was burned into Danny's chest. And now you know where Iron Fist's tattoo came from. With Shao Lao dead, Danny enters its cave and puts his fist into the dragon's molten heart, which in turn gave him the power of Iron Fist, becoming the latest Iron Fist in a long lineage. And boom, just like that, you have Iron Fist's origin. Of course, he later becomes one half of Heroes for Hire, as well as a member of the New Avengers, Defenders, Thunderbolts, and so on. So let's move on to powers and abilities. By dipping his fist into the molten heart of Shao Lao the Undying, Danny was granted the power of the Iron Fist, which allows him to enhance his natural abilities to extraordinary levels, and focus his chi in his fists, hence the name Iron Fist. His punches are so powerful that he's been known to knock down Marvel powerhouses like Thor, or even punch down a helicarrier with a single punch because why the heck not? By concentrating, Iron Fist can also harness his chi to give him enhanced mental and physical abilities. He even has chi enhanced healing. Basically, by focusing his chi, he can enhance all of his abilities, like speed, strength, stamina, reflexes, durability, and so on. But he is also capable of energy absorption, manipulation, and even temporarily fusing his consciousness with others. And that brings us to reading recommendations. You have Marvel Premiere issues 15 through 16, Immortal Iron Fist Volume 1, Power Man and Iron Fist issue 50, Iron Fist The Living Weapon, and the current Power Man and Iron Fist series. That should be enough to get your gas started. Before I wrap up today's episode, I just want to thank Domain.com. When you buy a domain name from Domain.com, you get the power to influence and control what people find when they search for you online. No domain extension will help you tell your story like a .com or .net domain name. Domain.com is affordable, reliable, and easy to use. The guys at Domain.com gave Aaron an awesome offer. Get 15% off Domain.com's already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code Variant at checkout. So when you think domain names, think Domain.com.